So hi everybody, I'm just gonna try to give you an update about our little singleton that was born. Um, today's Tuesday, he would have been a week old today. Um, he was born C-section, as you guys all know. He came home, he was doing great. Um, Nala really never got attached to him. She never really wanted to clean him or anything, um, which can happen with a C-section. But usually they, after a couple of days, they'll, you know, they'll realize and they'll want to clean him and stuff like this. She never really did come around. Um, so he was doing good for a couple of days and then I noticed he was kind of starting to drink less so I wanted to um, make him formula to see if I could actually know what he was he was taking in. So that's what I did. And uh, he really liked the formula. He did pretty well. Uh, first couple of feedings and then uh, Friday night he just kind of took a turn for the worst. Um, he became more lethargic. Um, he wasn't, didn't really want to eat off mom, didn't want the bottle either. And a lot of times if you do have a weak puppy, uh, it will last a few days and then it'll kind of, it almost like a fading puppy, it will just kind of fade until it, you know, it, it dies eventually. Um, so, you know, he really, he wasn't, he wasn't really into latching that, that night and he wasn't into bottle feeding I just had a eerie feeling like he wasn't gonna make it through the night so I did what I could for him and then uh, when I went to check on him he was gone he passed so our little singleton did pass away on uh, Saturday early in the morning um, sometimes it's just not meant to be you know what I mean we we did everything in our power to ensure that he was going to you know be born successfully you know and and everything we could you know c-section to make sure you know he was gonna be born um you know not get complications during birth with mom and or just you know and that didn't work it just sometimes you can try and a lot and it's just not meant to be so it our little singleton just wasn't meant to be here a little boy so um he did pass Saturday morning early. Um, Nala did realize I let her see him and she sniffed him and was licking him. That's really the most she's ever paid attention to him. Um, she never really realized that he was hers. Though every time we came in for feeding, she would, she would lay down and, you know, she would sit down so we could feed him. So she did know like, oh, I have to feed this puppy. So she, she was good about that and she would check on him and sniff him, but she never did like cleaning his butt or, you know, just licking like a normal mom does. So, um, she got milk, but not a lot of milk. So it's not like I even have to worry about her for mastocytis cause she's already going back down. Um, you can tell she's, uh, rested she's off all her pain meds it's been a week so she's been able to um, interact with her her group again and um, that seems to make it easier on her being able to interact instead of me keeping her uh, quarantined and you know in her whelping room which she doesn't really need it anymore um, so she's able to go out with them but you know it's a loss um, when you're a breeder, the more you breed, the more you you see certain, you know, losses like, you know, having a singleton and, you know, doing the C-section and all the preparation and all the tests and we still lose them. So it is part of, you know, part of the breeding process. Um, the more you breed, the more you see, you know, we've had other you know, losses too, but it just stings more when it's only one puppy. I was hoping for her to at least have, you know, to know what it feels like to be the mother. I mean, she did um, carry him for the whole duration, and but it just wasn't meant. So we will breed Nala again and see if this was just a fluke. Um, and, and hopefully we have better results next time with her. Um, some dogs just aren't made, you know, just isn't made in their their future to be mothers just like humans um, they all have problems too so we'll see we'll we'll see if that was just a fluke or if she's just not going to you know ever be 
um, be a breeding girl. Um, but she is doing well. She'll be going back out and having her staples out. And uh, I think next week we'll just bring her to our vets and see if they can take her staples out. Her incision's healing well. Um, she seems to be pretty fine. Her pain meds are done and you know, it's been, it's been a week since he was born. So she's, she's doing good. She's happy to be with her pack again. So, and she does play. She was playing rough before she had the puppy because she only had a singleton. I don't think she re realized she was even pregnant. But that's the update with our little guy. Um, as fortunate uh, as it is, it does happen. And, uh, you know, we move on. That's what we do here. So a little bit of a high note after giving the bad news about our singleton. This is Eva and we have confirmed her pregnancy so she definitely is pregnant and she's about 30 days today and um, I could see on my ultrasound last week that she was pregnant. Uh, she actually has a little belly started when she lays down. Uh, she was just outside so she's panting. She has been bred before so we know what to expect for puppies um, with her because it's the same male Hurley her main man so we will be tracking her pregnancy and and this is seems to be like more of a normal pregnancy I can see that's you know there's quite a few sacs in there unlike Nala's where I only saw a few in the beginning and then um, she reabsorbed most of them and ended up with our singleton um, but not uh, Eva here Oops, it's okay, Eva. She's knocked something over with her tail. But Eva has a good amount of puppies in there. So um, it should be exciting. She will be due Octo around October 11th. Um, and we hope to whelp these puppies at home. We That's always our game plan. It doesn't always happen. But um, we've had to do C-sections in the middle of the night. Uh, <laughs> during the day. Uh, you name it. We've done it. But our plan is to have these little babies natural here with her up in the big whelping room that we already had saved for her. Um, so we shall see. But we saw all those little babies and uh, we'll probably, my, oh, she's gonna go, go see something, I guess. But we're, we'll go for a, um, a x-ray just to get a head count on these puppies, so just to know what we're expecting. And then um, when she does have them, we usually do the ultrasound at home to find out if there's any puppies remaining because that can happen too. We've learned from the past that if you don't make sure that they're totally empty, like they've produced all their puppies, that they can hold the puppy and um, it could be bad or they could deliver it the next day. I mean, there's every kind of scenario. And like I said, the more you breed, the more you see, the more you learn. So it's a learning experience. So that's what we do. We'll probably do the x-ray for Miss Eva, my pretty girl. And um, we will do, when she's done delivering, we will do a, we'll take out the ultrasound machine to make sure she has no puppies left. And what happens if she does, is we'll bring her in and they'll give her oxytocin to kind of clean out that system. So that's the plan for Miss Eva. Now that's the plan. Doesn't mean something won't go wrong because I mean, things can go wrong, we all know. But uh, we always plan for the best, but expect the worst. And um, you know, we just kind of roll with the punches, you know, there's nothing you can do. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, but we try to give them every fighting chance that we can. Um, Eva's had puppies too that didn't, you know, survive. So we've we've dealt with that before too. But almost, you know, a lot of whelping. Sometimes there, you know, there's a lot of scenarios. But she usually has about, well, she had nine last time. So I ended up with eight. So we'll see what we end up with this time. I did see quite a bit of sacks in there, but. Um, we're excited and uh, we can't wait. We'll keep you posted on uh, Miss Eva's progress.
Habib. Habiber. And then we have Fiona over here doing what she does best. Taking a nap on the couch. Huh. She was just outside, so she's panting. Is it hot out there today, huh, girl? Yes, it is. <laughs>